Two very similar business models and looking at the definitions, they are pretty much exactly the same. Similar, I know. So what are the differences? Well, first of all is the companies that they invest in. Venture capital firms invest in very, very small companies. Companies which are pretty much only an idea and they will have very little amounts invested. Just enough really to get the idea off the ground. A brilliant example of this is when KPCB, yes, I can't pronounce this, invested in Uber. And in total, they had around 250 million from loads of other investors. And around a few years later, it reached a valuation of 98 billion billion pounds. So that's an example of a VC backed company, something which was an initial idea to start with and grew throughout its life to have this massive valuation. Whereas private equity are different, they invest in well-established businesses in the market. They will look at a business which is operating in the tech industry or is an IT managed service, will invest in this company, will hold it and just look to get around 10 to 15 million EBITDA added on and make quite a healthy two times return. So they aren't looking for those ultra big players, but they're also not looking for those tiny players. They are looking for companies which sit slap bang in the middle, so typically SMEs. The second major difference is the ownership stake that a VC or a PE firm take. Now, VCs, they're investing in a very early team. They are wanting to grow this company throughout the life, but they don't want an active management in the company. They wanna sit back and they wanna see their money, let's say 100 pounds, go from a massive investment to about 10,000 pounds. So therefore, they only take a very small minority stake in the company. They will take anything below 50%. The ideal amount that they would take is around 15 to 20%. They do this because it allows the founders to have more skin in the game. So they will have 80% equity and they wanna increase their value of equity as much as possible. This gives them an incentive to grow the company and basically be able to cash out when the company reaches its IP, IPO or one billion pound valuation. So they only take a very small stake, whereas private equity often take anything as high as 80 to 100% of the company. They want to fully own the company so then they can realize the most amount of gains possible. This is because they are taking a well-established business in the environment and they're wanting to drive value out of it. The value isn't gonna be as much. So what they need is as much stake as possible so that they can make as high returns as possible. However, recently in the news, PE firms have been taking a slightly different approach and they have been taking things such as a minority stake, which is quite rare, but is beginning to become a common theme nowadays. So they're almost acting like a VC firm, but if they do take a minority stake, they are still using their expertise to try and grow this company as much as possible. So it is slightly different still where VC would take a full hands-off approach, PE take a full hands-on approach into the business. And that moves me on to the third difference, their portfolio size. A venture capital firm will have tens, if not hundreds of companies sat in their portfolio because what they're looking for is that big win. They're looking for that Google, they're looking for that Facebook, Instagram. So they invest in so many companies. And the thing is, 98, 99% of these companies fail but that one company that they own in their portfolio, which takes them from an initial 100,000 pound investment to a 1 billion pound return, makes up for all of those losses in their portfolio and more. That's their strategy that they're trying to do. Whereas if you look at a private equity company, for example, I've just taken Livingbridge, they don't have that many companies in their portfolio. They only really have a handful, and this is so they can actively manage each of the company. They are going full hands-on, so they need to use all of their resources. If they have loads of companies sat in their portfolio, they won't be able to efficiently manage each of the companies. So they only have a handful and they also invested a lot more into these companies. And finally, I kind of touched on it quite a lot in this video, but it is their exit strategy. Now, a venture capital firm is looking to get this little company to reach an IPO status or at least a billion pound valuation so that it can sell its 20 odd percent and make a significant return. Whereas in private equity, they will purchase 100% of the company, but only hold it for around three to five years, and then they will sell to make their two times return. Now, we do have different sellers involved. So for a VC firm, that 20% will be bought by 
a multinational corporation, Uber, Meta, Alphabet, basically a large corporation which would be able to afford this. Now in private equity, the company will typically be sold onto another private equity company. It might be sold to industry, but it's very rare, or it could just be sold to another fund in the private equity company. So the exit strategies are dramatically different in these two industries, and you've got to make sure that you get them correct. So that was the ultimate guide to private equity and venture capital. I would recommend this book if you want to learn about private equity more, or these videos which I've made, and this VC book if you are interested in venture capital a little bit more. So thanks for watching and please watch all of my other videos.